Chapter 1. Money Doesn't Buy Good Health Sacred Woman takes you through the gateways of spiritual cleansing training. However, in order to get there and make use of the benefits, you need to understand the basics. Queen Afua has guided countless women along the path towards health, but she acknowledges that many of the health issues she has consulted about could be prevented by a change of mindset. We live consumerist lifestyles. We assume that if we buy the best car or own the latest iPhone, we will be happy, but money doesn't buy health. Your actions and mindset allow your health to improve and be maintained. It is not something money can do. Health comes from nurturing your body and allowing it to shine from the inside and have that special kind of glow. You can't buy good health no matter how much money you have, what kind of possessions you have, how many degrees you've earned, what job title you hold, or what neighborhood you live in. Queen Afua Optimum health is achieved through necessary lifestyle changes, daily prayer, affirmations, and surrounding yourself with the right people. Sacred Woman teaches you about the gateways and rituals you need to perform in order to summon the highest spirits. By doing so, you nurture your health and maintain it with care and attention. Nurturing and maintaining your health takes time and effort. It is something you need to take seriously and dedicate daily time toward. Queen Afua's ancestors are the ancient Egyptians who led the Kemetic way of life, which transcends most of what we consider to be history, dating back to before Greek philosophy. The Kemetic people had a tremendous amount of wisdom and knowledge to pass down the generations and share with the world. When used diligently and daily, this knowledge can help save the planet from hitting the self-destruct button. However, you have to be willing to listen. This advice helps you to purify your mind, body, spirit, and in the end, your whole life. You will feel uplifted, content, and at one with yourself. We continue to learn from the Kemetic people with inscriptions and teachings on temple walls taught to us by Queen Afua. We have so much to learn, even today in this modern society we call home. By tuning into voices of the past, we can use their wisdom to enhance our health, wealth, and happiness. The Kemetic people lived in the earliest African settlements, known today as ancient Egypt. Many consider them to be elders of the earth. Chapter 2. The Womb is the Sacred Spiritual Center of a Woman's Body The womb is the central part of a woman's femininity and the lifeblood of her entire body. Located in the pelvis, the womb is protected by other reproductive organs, including the fallopian tubes and the ovaries. Understanding the anatomy of the womb helps you to visualize it during your meditations, including its three layers. The womb has three layers, endometrium, myometrium, and parametrium. The Kemetic people saw the womb as the spiritual center of energy within the body and where the gateways connect with those above. These gateways are also referred to as chakras, and the womb is the second of these chakras. However, the womb is the central point that connects all chakras. Whenever there is harm or illness within the womb, e.g. surgery, injury, or disease, it is manifested as illness throughout the body and in how you feel. For instance, fibroids can also affect relationships in your life and your happiness levels. The health of the womb is also affected by the changing patterns of the moon, which dictates the tides, and is tied very closely to the way you feel your emotions. Queen Afua suggests drinking a glass of water slowly and noticing if this shifts your mindset from negative to positive due to the natural element of water entering your body. The womb is the second chakra or energy center. It is closely tied to emotions and natural elements, especially water. Meditation and prayer for the womb are a key part of sacred woman training. If you're not at one with your womb, you're not able to have close relationships with other people. Therefore, create a close connection to your womb and bless it on a daily basis. Listen to what it tells you and keep a journal of thoughts. Queen Afua also suggests doing a womb meditation, sitting with your eyes closed, and focusing on your womb, scanning how it feels regularly. Chapter 3. Notice the health of your womb. The womb is the center of your health and power as a woman, which means you need to get to know it well. Take the time to look at the opening to your womb in a mirror and learn about the reproductive system. By doing so, you can take more care and attention in noticing whenever something feels wrong and listen to what your body is telling you. Listen to your body and recognize when something doesn't feel quite right. Your womb will tell you if you're open to listening. It's time to cast aside shame and embarrassment when it comes to your womb and reproductive area, sending love and blessings to them regularly. Queen Afua suggests keeping a diary of your reproductive health. Conditions such as heavy periods, period pain, vaginitis, bloating, bacterial vaginosis, fibroids, prolapse, and even pregnancy-related issues often point towards a hormonal imbalance that may be corrected by changing your lifestyle and how you approach your health. Keep a reproductive health diary, identify any problems, and track how long they last, severity, etc. 
By regularly checking in with yourself and exploring your womb health, you can get a clear view of what is really going on and what changes may need to be made. Chapter 4. A vegetarian diet is the way to cleanse your body of impurities. Nurturing the health of your womb also comes down to what you eat. When you eat a lot of unhealthy food, it manifests itself in illness and sluggishness. Toxic and negative lifestyles contribute to the development of tumors in the body, especially in the womb and breasts. Changing your lifestyle to a healthier option can reduce the adverse effects of past detrimental habits. Queen Afua suggests eating a flesh-free diet and consuming fresh fruits and vegetables grown on the earth and in the sun. Far too many people live to eat, but we should switch our attention to nurturing our body and eating to live instead. Focus on eating a diet free from meat and instead consume natural ingredients from the earth. Opt for organic fruits and vegetables and plant-based proteins. The Sacred Woman's Womb Diet is a vegetarian option that helps detox impurities from your body and focuses your mind on optimal health. Queen Afua mentions that foods derived from flesh, meat, contribute to hormonal imbalances. If you eat something which bleeds itself, e.g. animal meat, your womb health will be affected and you will bleed as a result. Protein sources are going to be beans, peas, lentils, and limited amounts of nuts and seeds. Don't overindulge because you'll bleed as heavy as you do on to eliminate dairy, anything made with white flour, and instead consume natural herbs. A good choice for heavy bleeding is red raspberry tea. And if you have low iron, dandelion tea is another good option. Queen Afua suggests making a tea of four to five cups of boiled water with two or three tablespoons of dandelion, goldenrod, and red raspberry. Allow the mixture to steep while you sleep, and then drink it in the morning, before or after you pay for good results. Ensure that you do not allow yourself to become constipated, as a problem with the colon automatically affects the womb. Also, make sure that you pay loving attention to your breasts, using exercise and affirmations. Any colon issue, such as constipation, causes disruption to the health of your womb. Make sure that your bowel movements are regular. Chapter 5. There are expected side effects from cleansing your womb. Changing your diet will always cause side effects, and it's important to know what is and isn't normal for this particular change. When you focus on a womb cleaning routine, you will notice that your body drains out all the toxins that have been gradually building up. You may also notice a discharge from many parts of your body, including the vagina, which is completely normal. A womb cleanse often results in discharge from areas such as the ears, mouth, nose, and vagina. This is a normal occurrence which will slowly dissipate. As you purify the womb, it will also push out toxins that will show as a vaginal discharge. This may happen continuously for a couple of months, and you may notice that your monthly period is heavier in the immediate two months after starting the cleanse. After this, however, your periods should settle down and you should bleed very little afterward. It is possible to notice other side effects such as flatulence, feeling weak, headaches, a lack of patience, blurred vision, and mood swings, among several other side effects. These effects are due to fasting and should begin to disappear as your body rejects all the toxins it has allowed to build up. During your fast, focus on connecting with high spirits to help you through this time and allow yourself to rest. If you experience side effects as a result of your fast, call upon high spirits for support. However, any severe side effects should be checked out medically. Chapter 6. Be mindful of your words. Health isn't all about your womb. It's also about your mind and the way you communicate with others and the world around you. Queen Afua speaks of the sacred words aligned with the spiritual guardian, Tabuti. This energy center chakra is located in the throat and governs creativity and communication. Nurturing this energy center also ensures that you feel free to communicate in an honest and creative way with those around you. It also teaches you about the power of speaking kindly and avoiding negative words to yourself and others. The energy center or chakra in the throat is related to communication and creativity. Concentrating on this center teaches you the power of your words. Alongside prayer rituals and affirmations, Queen Afua suggests fasting from talking to allow you to relish in the comfort and serenity of peace and quiet and to go firmly within. Allow yourself to be silent continuously for between one and four hours every single day. Do whatever you need to do during this time, but do it without speaking. At the end of the day, ask yourself if any of the words you did speak that day hurt anyone. If you think they did, apologize and do what you need to do in order to make it right and retreat back into silence for healing. Silence is a deeply healing and transformative process. Focus on silence for one to four hours every day. A good cleansing ritual for this particular energy center is to add a teaspoon of each of dried hops, dried chamomile, and valerian extract into two cups of water boiled in a glass pot. 
Allow to sit for 20 minutes and then drink it as you think back over your day and how you communicated with others and yourself. Chapter 7. Certain Herbs May Boost Your Health and Well-Being Certain foods, aside from organic and fresh produce, can calm and heal your body. These foods can cut out blockages and help with eating problems such as overeating, undereating, or weight issues. Specific herbs are very useful in this regard. guard and should be taken four times per day as drops under the tongue. If you prefer to drink this as a tonic, simply add four drops to a glass of purified water. Pink monkey flower is a good option for those who use food to deal with difficult emotions, while goldenrod is a good choice for those who struggle with being overweight. What we consume dictates who we are and what we are. Whatever we consume, we become. Queen Afua. Make your kitchen a place of healing by filling it with fresh fruits and vegetables. Use them to create fresh-pressed juices, soups, and salads, nourishing your body every day. You can also add various spices to your foods to create extra benefits, such as cayenne, which is ideal for cleaning the colon, cinnamon for decreasing bleeding during a period, garlic for immune system support, and valerian for calming stomach cramps and headaches. Make your kitchen a sanctuary of health and only allow the freshest organic produce into your space. Chapter 8. Assess and Nurture Positive Relationships in Your Life Health is also about those we allow into our lives. Our relationships have a significant impact on our happiness and well-being. If you have toxic relationships around you, they're likely to profoundly affect your sense of self and your contentment in life. Focus on only allowing happy, balanced, and positive relationships and friendships into your space. Toxic relationships affect your mood, confidence, happiness, and health. Only allow space for positive and healthy relationships. Queen Afua suggests sitting down and thinking carefully about each major relationship in your life, including romantic relationships, friendships, family ties, etc. What do these relationships bring to you? What do you bring to the table? Allow your heart to release negativity and anger in these relationships and look upon each with kindness. Let go of any pain and succumb to the sensation of healing instead. Holding grudges and allowing pain to manifest will simply cause you to be deeply unhappy and will also affect your physical health. Relationships cause both joy and pain. Rather than running from the pain, be brave enough to explore it in order to learn lessons. Rather than hiding from the pain in a relationship, be brave enough to explore the issue and find out what you can learn from it. This is the only way to ensure complete healing and allow your energies to rise from negative to positive. Did you know? According to Queen Afua, canned, frozen, or microwaved foods are devitalized and will never bring divine order into your life, unlike the green foods, spinach, broccoli, celery, etc. Conclusion Sacred Woman is an eye-opening journey that teaches you about the fundamental elements of health and well-being. All too often, we focus on the things we can buy in life, assuming they'll make us happy, or stick with toxic situations because we're scared of taking a risk and trying the alternative. Understand that nurturing health means going back to nature. Realizing this allows you to open up the higher powers around you and spend time learning about rituals, affirmations, and prayers. This is key to your future health and happiness. Throughout these gateways and lessons, Queen Afua supports you on your journey, helping you to understand that your deep femininity is a beautiful gift bestowed upon you, but one which you must protect and care for. Learn to be proud of your power as a woman and the deep connection that your body has with nature and your inner soul. In the modern day, we're taught to take supplements to put back what we're losing in our lifestyle choices, but reconnecting with nature and elements around you could be all you need to counteract negative energies. Focus on your diet, how much sleep you're getting, how much water you're drinking, and the amount of exercise you're getting on a daily basis. These health basics work hand in hand with the spiritual guidance that Queen Afua gives to you. Many people may roll their eyes and assume that health is far more about medical knowledge than deep-rooted behaviors and habits, but Sacred Woman has been around for a very long time and has many happy followers. Surely, that means there must be something beneficial to learn. Try this. 1. Clean out your kitchen of anything processed, high fat or high sugar. Instead, go shopping for fresh, clean, organic produce and fill up your refrigerator. 2. Keep a diary of your health. Queen Afua suggests keeping a diary of your womb health, but you can extend this to your entire body if you want to. Remember, your primary energy center is your womb, and it dictates how you feel overall. 3. Plan to be silent for at least one hour a day and slowly work up to the full four-hour period. This may be difficult at first, but do your best by really focusing on the serenity of how it feels to be truly still.